Hello, we'll continue what we started uh, uh, a few uh, few hours ago. We we started talking. We started talking about Jesus. Uh, that Jesus is the light, and uh, we're still in John one. I love the Gospel of John. We we still uh, so we started talking about Jesus. That so Jesus is the light, and we also uh, talked about how important for you and I. To be, to be, to 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 uh, to believe in Jesus, to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Without that, you uh, we are not alive. You say when we accept Jesus, we have life, and we like we have life abundantly. You remember, uh, I believe we are in John one, but I still want to remind you that uh, John ten ten say that uh, Jesus said that I come to give life and life abundantly. But the other side, the thief or the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. So when you accept Jesus, you have life, and you have life abundantly. So last time we emphasized on that, in, in encouraging you and to believe in Jesus, to, to believe in Jesus, when you believe in Jesus, and you have life. You are not going to be what I call walking dead. Because I say some some people some some uh, some people maybe you were there listening to me saying that how can you say I'm dead if you are without Jesus you are not alive. Life according to the Word of God, life is living with Jesus Christ. Even when the the the, the, the Bible talks about uh, uh, death, mostly. Uh, People dying, according to the Bible spiritually, dying is being separated from God. That's why Jesus said, when you believe in him, and we are, I'm really talking already about uh, uh, the time of Jesus, uh, I think it, it should be chapter 11, when Jesus talked uh, in John chapter 11, talking about, uh, we, uh, where we talk about the resurrection of uh, uh, Lazarus and in talking that even if you die you will live when Jesus is talking about living it means it doesn't matter what's happened to you you are with God at all time but if you don't accept Jesus Christ today well, of course you will be separated from God you will die you will be dead forever so dying here is really being in a, a being at Having a relationship with God, that's life. If you don't have a relationship with God, if you didn't, didn't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are still dead. Jesus came and he came, he, uh, he came and died for you and I. He died for all of us. And the people who get saved, people who accept him, receive him, as the Lord and Savior, those people are saved. Those people are, 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 have some benefit in it. That's what we're going to talk about today. Saying that in this part of uh, John 6 to, uh, to John 13, uh, uh, John chapter 1, from verse 6 to uh, verse 13, it's, it's present as a clear, clear view. Except talking about Jesus being light, or the word of God, the word being light, and also clearly telling us what you get as benefit when you accept that life, when you accept Jesus Christ, when you accept him into your life, you become what we call child of God. Are you a child of God? If you are not a child of God, you are dead. You are not alive. Because life comes in you when you accept Jesus Christ. Let's read this part. Uh, so the uh, our, our gospel reading for this time uh, is uh, is the, the gospel according to John chapter one, verse six to thirteen. As I said before, there was a man. This is uh, the, the, the American King version. And there was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. 
he was not that light, but uh, was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the, the true light, which gives light to every man con uh, com coming into the world. Which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. And the world did not know, know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But, 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 as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in him, in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. As you know, God is spirit. Jesus said that in, uh, I think uh, that that's will be John 4, 4. God is spirit. Uh, God, uh, so it's John 4, 24, I believe. So God is spirit. For those who, who come to God have to come to him. He will worship him in, in, uh, in spirit and in truth. The word of God speaks to us, to our spirit man. So, God is spirit. Here say, we we come to God, we believe in God, we are born, born again eh, of, of God. We are, go, we are born of the will of God, not of will of man, not of will of blood, and anything like that of flesh. We are, we are born of the will of God. So, when you accept Jesus Christ, and spiritually, Jesus Christ gave you the right to become a child of God. That's why we have to read that again so we can understand. I love repetition. And uh, somebody said repetition is the matter of science. But repetition is very important for you to understand. The more you think about it, the more you meditate. The meditation can also call repetition. You, when you meditate, you understand better the holy spirit explained to you when you let the holy spirit uh, communicate to you you will understand better what you probably when you read for the first time you didn't understand so verse 12 said but as many as received him to them he gave the right to become children of god are you a child of god did you receive him do you know what had the benefit of receiving Jesus Christ? The first one I told you already that when you receive Jesus Christ, you have light. You have, you, you, you have light. You have knowledge. The first one I would like to emphasize, emphasize last time was you have life. Life is in you because you received Jesus Christ. Light is in you because Jesus Christ. You receive Jesus Christ. The light is meant to you understand things. You know where you're going. The Bible tells us clearly in uh, in Psalm 119. If you read about the Word, you will you understand that the Word is the light for us. It's light at our feet. It is important to have the Word of God. I love to emphasize on this because this is the key. You can call yourself a Christian if you are not reading this word, if you are not passing time in the word of God, well, you're going to be, uh, you're going to fall in those uh, scheme. You, you're going to be uh, the scheme of the devil. The devil will touch you and will steal you. The way he did with the children of Israel, you know, they, they got, they, they get in the promised land and the little by little they were stealing stolen they, 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 the word of God was stolen from them because they start worshipping other people's God and they, they forget easily what they, they were you and I when we read this we even get angry at some point how can you forget how can you forget you just crossed the, the Red Sea my daughter was saying they just crossed the Red Sea how can they see what God did what how can they forget because the devil comes and steals the word of God 
So you have to understand it. When you understand the word of God, it stays in you. When you understand the truth, I'm sorry to mix everything together. So the verses I bombard in my, my, my mind, I believe the Holy Spirit communicates with me a series of verses as I'm trying to combine you to tell you the importance of meditating the word of God. Stay in the word of God, meditate, repeat it multiple times. Think about them and think about those words that God is giving to you. You will not going to fall in those schemes of the devil. The devil is not going to steal. That's why the Bible says that the devil roll around looking for who he may devour. devour. He may devour you. If you are, uh, you are not meditating the word of God, you do understand. He comes and steal that word. It will steal that word when you don't understand it. So you have to uh, not only read, meditate on it, understand it. And well, the understanding in your day, the Bible says that in all you're getting, get understanding. So get it, get understanding. And meditate in your word at all time. Stay connected to God. Have a good relationship with God. Come and get with God. Don't let God go. Don't leave him in your bedroom and go to work. Go to work with God. Because he doesn't leave you. But you are the one who leaves him. He promised you according to Hebrew. I think it's Hebrew, Hebrew 13. The 13. Uh, it tells us clearly that uh, uh, Jesus... Jesus, so Jesus said, I will never leave you, never forsake you. And in the same Hebrew, telling also Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So it is important to know that Jesus gave you the right to become a child of God. Verse 12, I'll read it again because I went far away. He said, he said that, but as many as, as many as received him, to them, he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name. Do you believe in his name? I believe I pray for some, with some of you. The last time uh, we, we, we prayed and I believe you, you become a child of God. Because uh, Romans 10 verse 9 tells us clearly if you believe, in, in, you confess in, with, with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God resurrected from the dead. You are saved. Are you saved? Well, if you did that, the Bible tells you that you are saved. You better believe you are saved. With the Bible, it's about just it's about believing. That's why we are called believers. Do you believe? Did you pray with me those words? Do you believe? Well, you better believe because that's the only yeah, that's the only way. First of all, to have eternal life, and that's the only way. Once you believe, the Bible tells us that He gave you the power, the right to become child of God. So you and I, we are children of God today. We can enjoy to be the heir of the kingdom of God. We are the co heir with Jesus Christ of the kingdom of God. So, uh, so that's what we learned, we're learning today that your believing in Jesus Christ, it's not done, it's, it's, it is done by the will of God. It's not the will of anything, any flesh, anyone. So, you are born again, not of the flesh, not of the, the blood. Not of uh, the will of men, but of the will of God. Remember, even Jesus emphasized on it again in John 3, uh, talking to Nicodemus, uh, almost the same thing, that what is born of the flesh, of is the flesh, and what is born of uh, the spirit, is the spirit. Are you born again? Very important to be born again, otherwise you are a walking dead. So, we will have to stop there. Uh, it's amazing that just uh, re uh, refreshing your memory and then trying to read it. I hope you understand the message really behind it. I wanted to just to bring that 
do you are a child of God. Maybe you, if it's the first time you're listening to, to this reading with me and uh, we're still in John 1. We started a long time ago. We're still going around and we have to keep moving. I think uh, we're going to move next time. We're going to be uh, moving to, we will still going to be in chapter 1. There is no need to rush. The most important is yes, we communicate with our God. We, the, the Lord is uh, uh, giving us more information. Just in chapter 1, we can stay there the longest it can. Please don't get tired. Come come back and let's work on the Word of God and uh, understand and then listen to to, to to the Holy Spirit, to what the Holy Spirit is telling us, it is important. Maybe it's the first time you are here and you say, well, brother, I understand I don't want to be a walking dead. I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Well, just repeat after me that, uh, Father God, I thank you for this opportunity to hear the word. Thank you, Father, for allowing me to listen to Brother Steve. Thank you, Father, for... for uh, for Jesus Christ, I'm uh, I'm sorry for everything I did without no, uh, knowledge or what I did with, uh, by myself, not uh, following your word. I ask for forgiveness. Accept I, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I know that Jesus Christ died at the cross. He was buried. He resurrected, and now he lives forever. Jesus, be my Lord and Savior. I accept you. Lead me. I accept you today, and you are my Lord, and I'll follow you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. If you pray with me, if you accept Jesus Christ, if you confess with me, so you are a child of God. The old things are passed away, and everything are new. Uh, that's why it's needs, it needs a second, uh, second. Uh, 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 I think it's a second, uh, uh, the, the second Corinthian, I believe. Second Corinthian two, uh, chapter five. Uh, I, I, I believe the second. This. No, second Corinthian. Let's go forward. I don't want to give you a verse which is not. Uh, which, 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 which is not which is not which is not the correct one i would like you to know that because when you accept jesus christ you become a, a new creature the old things are passed away everything become new and i was uh, <coughs> mostly wanting to give you and uh, what is in my mind which is uh uh second corinthians chapter 17 yeah, there you go. I, I would just uh, say that I hesitated turning around. So it's Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. Tell therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. That's what I wanted to let you, my brother, my sister. If you pray with me and you accept Jesus Christ, everything become new. So. A, a get in a, in, in a church, in a Bible-based uh, based church where you can learn the Bible and read the Bible and, 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 and grow in the reading of the Word of God and teach yourself, learn, listen to the preacher around the world and read. Most, the most important, not only even about listening here and there, is about reading your Word. Read the Word of God, learn, and the Holy Spirit will teach you. The Holy Spirit to talk to you. The Holy Spirit to teach you. I believe that uh, little by little, as you accept the Holy Spirit, uh, and as you become a new creature, you go forward and you will grow. And you will not going to be stagnant. The mistake is staying away from the Bible and not reading it, not learning. Because the, the little by little, even if you don't go faster, you go step by step, you will grow. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will grow, you will change the world, you become exactly like Jesus. I say himself that we is not us, in us, if not us who live, it's Christ, it's Jesus who live in us. Amen, amen. Stay blessed and we, we spend a lot of time. Stay blessed. I love you and see you next time.